up guys welcome back to my channel and happy Easter this is Easter morning and I hope that you guys are all enjoying it with your families if you have a dog here are some ways that you can celebrate Easter at home with your dog One thing that you can do is have a photo shoot. My girls, I have two wall retrievers, they're very used to this. We do photo shoots for every single holiday, so they sit and behave really well for it. We just make it really fun, we take breaks, I take turns, and when they're doing something that I want them to do, I make sure to reward them. So they're not just sitting there constantly for no reason without any reward. It's gonna make them not want to listen to you. But as you can tell, I am currently sitting in the setup for where we just did the photo shoot with them. Today, Marcy, the girls. I did change out this scene, but overall this is pretty much how it looked. I don't go too crazy. I just buy stuff from Amazon, the dollar store, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, wherever I can see really cute decor. But the majority of things that I buy, I can double as an actual home decor item. So I'm able to basically reuse it, recycle it, however you want to look at it. I know that some of you have a lot of struggles when you're trying to take photos of your dog so if you want me to do a whole video on how to take better photos of your dog or how to get them to behave better for photos let me know and I'll make a whole dedicated video for that if you want to see how their really cute photos turned out be sure to follow them on Instagram I will leave their handles right down here but another idea for you to try is crafts I get everything from the Dollar Tree so it is extremely inexpensive and again my girls have done it multiple times so they're really good and patient with it this year we did eggs so we just took a big paw print put it in the center and then and I drew eggs around it with some grass and then put their names on their canvas so I know whose was whose but I think they turned out super cute and then we did flowers so their paw prints are the flowers and then I just drew on the stems and the grass if you want to see how to make these I will link the video up top the whole beginning of that video talks about how to go through this with your dog make sure that you're getting non-toxic washable paint and make sure that if your dog has long fur that you are cleaning out their paw pads first otherwise they're just gonna look like big blobs because of all the hair do it at a time where they are more relaxed and more calm and show them everything that you do before you actually do it. It's super helpful if your dog is already used to getting their paws touched because if not they probably will not sit for this. But once you get good at it you can make it go really fast. Another idea of what you can do with your dogs today for Easter. Out of everything on this list, the one thing that you really need to try, if you haven't already, is an Easter egg hunt. Just get a bunch of Easter eggs from the Dollar Tree. You can get them wherever. But again, very cheap, very inexpensive. And I just fill all the Easter eggs with treats. I put berries, I put pieces of food, pieces of their dog food. We try to mix it up so that there's different things for them to find. But essentially what we do is we just stick them in a room, leave them in there for a couple minutes while we run around the house and hide the eggs and then once all the eggs are hidden then we open up the door let them out and their noses are going crazy they love doing this they're just running around the house sniffing out all the eggs my husband and i will each pick a dog and we'll just follow behind them and if they want to we'll open the egg right away but sometimes they just get super excited and they're like already on to the next egg before we even have time to open it so we just put them in a bag and then once they're all done then we open up the eggs if your dog is on a diet just put pieces of their food inside of it so that way they're not getting overfed. This is a lot of food for them to have because we hide quite a few eggs. Obviously you can do this outside as well but unfortunately for us it's pretty muddy outside right now so I think we're just gonna stick to inside. The fourth idea that I have is a scavenger hunt. So this is something that my parents did with us when we were growing up and it's something that I always 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 looked forward to. So obviously they can't read. What we do with them is I just fill out a bunch of pieces of paper, make a bunch of riddles, make some rhymes, make it sound really cool. I will read the riddle and then at the end I will make them do a certain command before we go on to the next clue. So whether it's to sit pretty, to spin, or whether it's to speak or back up, something along those lines. Now if your dog is familiar with different places then you can actually associate those places with the next clue like a bath or bedtime or their crate or outside or the car or mommy or daddy then they will know where to go for the next clue so it kind of makes it a little bit more fun but at the end of all the clues we have an Easter basket which that's my fifth idea is an Easter basket just 
fill up an Easter basket full of treats or toys, whatever you want to get them. It doesn't have to be fancy, but do something fun for them. They get so excited running from clue to clue to clue because they know they're going to get their Easter basket at the end and they just are dying to see what is inside. So as soon as they find the Easter basket, they're able to go through it and see what's inside and they just have a great time doing this. I'll show you a little behind the scenes of me filling in their Easter baskets with the things that I got for them. So I'm just reusing the Easter baskets that I had bought for them last year. These were from Michaels. I did get them these little tags that I found from Michaels with an L and a C on them. L for Larcy, C for Coba J. My dog's names. So I was going to put them on the outside of the basket. I just have to get a little bit of string to tie them on. But let's fill up the baskets. <laughs> they're both going to play with everything. But just to show you, here is Koba J's basket and here is Larcy's basket. I will be filming their Easter special as I do every single year, showing you their Easter egg hunt behind the scenes of the baskets, X, Y, and Z. So that will be more in depth in that video. And I'm planning on that video going up on Wednesday this week. So be sure to watch out for that. I hope that you do something fun, whether you're just cuddling on the couch or going for a walk or whatever it is. You don't have to be crazy and extra like me, but it's just something that I enjoy doing with them. Like I said, my parents did a lot of really cool things with us for the holidays. So it's something that I want to pass on and continue doing with my kids, even though they're dogs. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you're not already subscribed, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I do post new videos every single Sunday. So I hope to see you right back here next Sunday for my next video. Bye guys.